Hey guys, welcome back to Share Approved and finally today's video is all about my hair care routine. Thanks so much for clicking on this video and if you are interested in finding out the steps that I do now, definitely keep watching. So I hope everyone is doing well and thank you so much if you looked at my last video where I talked about the hair loss that I've experienced over the last two to three years at different points in time and for different reasons and that really caused me to take a look at my hair care routine and of course hair loss is not a one-size-fit-all hair care is not a one-size-fit-all just like skincare and so many other things but i am sharing my experience because perhaps something i might be doing or some information that i might share today might be useful for your own hair care routine so just in case you did not see that video i would link it down below or i would leave a tag in this video so that you can go look at it and you will kind of understand what has been going on with me and i also mentioned some of the products that i actually use in my routine but today i actually want to take you through all the steps that i do from wash to finish styling my hair and these products have been absolutely amazing i have been using them now close to nine months i believe yeah around nine months and i think i have a very good idea of what they are doing for me and this routine has just really been working for me now i will mention that last sunday i did start the red light therapy device from ladora for my hair and scalp so i am at the seven day mark so super excited in a couple months i will update you guys about that so this routine that you're going to see does not include that because i actually filmed all these clips before i actually got the pod but just know that that pod is now in my routine my wash day actually starts the night before I wash because from the night before, that's when I actually start doing my oil treatments. My hair is already thin and on the finer side. So while some people can apply oils to their scalp probably daily or multiple times a week, I can't because it's going to completely weigh my hair down. And I am actually trying to get some volume in my hair. So what I do is I allow the oils to treat my hair like a really deep intensive treatment the night before I wash and then on the day that I'm going to wash. So what I do is the night before I will section my hair and I will apply these hair growth and these scalp oils generously. I will apply them to my scalp. I will bring the excess down to the ends, but I focus it mainly on my scalp and I spend a good few minutes massaging that into my hair. Now, a lot of people ask me which oils I use and I actually have a few that are favorites. They are all local products made in Trinidad and Tobago. But if you just find a good hair oil with some oils that have really good benefits for scalp and hair nutrition, then and you're good to go one of the things that i would say really stood out to me is rosemary rosemary oil has actual scientific studies that shows links to hair growth so you should definitely look for something that includes that i will just show you a couple of my favorites so this was actually the first brand that i was using and this is by naturify this is their rosemary blended this one turns out to be my favorite from their entire line then i've also tried the rejuve regrowth and retain hair growth elixir this is also another excellent one honestly i just grabbed for whichever one and in the clip that i filmed you would have seen me use this one this is my most recent but i also absolutely love it this is called the hair growth stimulator from the boutique and i had an interesting conversation with the woman behind this and because of her own personal journey with hair loss she started to research a lot of things and this was actually the result of her research because these oils and this blend worked so amazing for her i saw her pictures and everything so i actually started to use this i also love this all of them feel so good this is the one that you see me applying it smells amazing you could actually feel it almost penetrate in your scalp all of them will have that really spa-ish type of experience out of all of these the one with the lightest texture and when i say lightest i mean like in the slightest way possible right would be the rejuve it is slightly lighter in texture than the other two the other two are almost similar but honestly that is definitely not a deal breaker all of these work really really well to nourish my scalp and you will realize that having a healthy scalp is so important to having healthy hair so on wash day i do the same thing that i did the night before except that now i use my heat conditioning cap so again i will section my hair i will apply the oil generously to my scalp and i'll take the excess oils down to the ends of my hair i'll just wrap it up put my heat conditioning cap in the microwave heat it for 60 to 90 seconds and put it on my hair i will do this for a minimum of 10 minutes i have done it for up to 30 minutes and then go to shampoo my hair but the key here is you just want to make sure that you get a good few minutes allowing those oils to penetrate your scalp with a little bit of warmth or heat now i don't do this too hot 
the temperature is actually very manageable it is very comfortable but i can absolutely feel the difference with the penetration of the oils in my scalp using the heat cap compared to doing it without and i love giving myself that extra treatment so the night before and on the day of washing my hair i'm giving my scalp and the rest of my hair a lot of nourishment so then I remove the cap and I head to the shower or if I'm going to the sink to wash my hair there. And before I shampoo, I started doing scalp exfoliation. And I started doing this because I began to understand the benefits of scalp exfoliation for healthy hair and healthy hair growth. As well as because I really just laid down a lot of oils in my hair the night before and on the day. So I actually need to remove that so my other products can actually work now and do what they are intended to do. This step is also interesting, especially if you're somebody with flaky scalp or dandruff. You want to be able to exfoliate and you also want to be able to exfoliate gently enough to not create any irritation in your scalp. But because you want to get rid of those dead flakes and those dead skin cells, that could actually be making your situation worse. If you have seborrheic dermatitis in your hair, a dandruff, things like that, be careful with the types of oils that you use in your hair because many oils could actually make your situation worse. Remember that seborrheic dermatitis has to do with a particular type of yeast malassezia and that yeast feeds on oil. So if you are applying the wrong types of oil to your hair to do the type of process that I just recommended, you could actually make your septum worse. So when you're thinking that you're applying the oil because of the dryness, it's going to do the opposite because you're actually going to cause the malassezia yeast to be fruitful and multiply. So this is the scrub shampoo that I use. Uh, this is by Nineless and you're going to be hearing me talk about this brand. I have been hiding this for months, but this brand is literally like professional hair care at home. It has completely changed my hair game. In terms of my styling and all that, you will see it a little bit later on. But they have this scrub shampoo, which is for scalp cleaning and relief. And it is focused on a particular ingredient called perlite. Now, perlite is a naturally derived mineral from volcanic rock and it very gently exfoliates the scalp. It actually also helps to absorb excess oils and it helps to remove impurities from the scalp and the hair. Some people could actually use this alone as their exfoliating and shampoo step and they'll be completely fine. I have done that because it also clarifies the hair really well. I have actually also tried this in Hadassah's hair. It clarifies her hair and make her curls look so beautiful but that's just by the way this one has an interesting texture i have tried quite a few different scab scrubs and i found some that i actually really do enjoy this one was different because it actually feels almost like sand you know like sand at the beach that is what it feels like so when i started to put it in my hair and my scalp i'm like my goodness am i rubbing sand how is this going to wash out honestly that was my initial experience however it rinses so well it exfoliates the scalp so well so gently so effectively you can feel the cleanness of your scalp after you use this but it is also infused with centella menthol and chamomile you will actually hear me repeat a couple of these ingredients and there is a reason why these ingredients actually are found in a lot of products that are made or geared to help people who are experiencing hair loss so one of those ingredients is one of my favorite ingredients for skin and that is centella asiatica when i tell you guys that this ingredient is so amazing now i have known about the benefits of centella asiatica for here in terms of treating certain conditions in the scalp and all of that and i actually have some plain centella asiatica in a spray bottle that i spray into my scalp and spray into hadassah scalp however i began looking at the research because i realized that a lot of the products that i was using actually had centella asiatica and i found out that there was a study in 2018 where they took a group of people some with telogen effluvium, which I mentioned last week, and some with actual alopecia, which are two different types of hair loss. And they included for them a Centella Asiatica product to use in their hair over a period of four to eight weeks. The results demonstrated that with the inclusion of the Centella Asiatica in their hair care routines, it resulted in a 41% decrease in hair loss in the washing phase. That is amazing. They also did a pull test and the hair showed a small increase in strength as well. Now, something that was also interesting is that there is a particular compound in our hair and our scalp called laminin 5, which is one of the things that work behind the scenes in the whole biological process that helps our hair growth. With the inclusion of Centella Asiatica, there was a 33% increase in the expression of laminin 5 in those people's scalp and hair. <laughs> like that was completely completely impressive to me and it made sense because i learned this after i actually started using a lot of products that contain central asiatica 
and that's where we go into the next three items that actually come <laughs> in chronological order in terms of my hair care so once i've exfoliated then i actually go into shampooing and this is where i use the sun by me seeker peptide anti hair loss line so i start first with the shampoo and this shampoo as well as some of the other products in the line they actually contain ingredients to help alleviate hair loss symptoms so it's formulated with 11 types of peptides which will nourish and put moisture in the hair and scalp this also contains topical biotin to nourish your scalp, which is a little bit different from ingesting biotin. Of course, it contains Sika Centella Asiatica. It also contains menthol. This also contains, the line actually also contains salicylic acid, which is one of those ingredients that actually helps to deal with malassezia yeast. So conditions like seborrheic dermatitis and so on will benefit from this line as well. And the shampoo also contains PHAs. And if you follow me for skincare, then you know that's polyhydroxy acids. So there is also going to be a little bit of gentle exfoliation in the hair and scalp. So I actually don't need much of this because remember, my scalp exfoliator would have done a lot of work. I pump probably just half a pump or one pump of this i work it into my hands i apply it and i focus it of course mainly on my scalp i'll take the rest down the rest of my hair but the focus of shampoo is really in my scalp area and the upper parts of my hair that will gather more product and be a little bit heavier and then i rinse that out then this is what i use almost like the conditioner step this is the Sika Peptide Anti Hair Loss Derma Scalp Treatment, also by some by me. So this is part of the entire line. With this, the tube is so small. My only gripe is I feel that they should make a bigger tube of this. But honestly, you don't need that much. But you know, generally, like for conditioners, you actually should focus conditioners more on the ends of your hair, from the middle to the ends of your hair, whereas shampoos focus more on the scalp and so on. This one is actually recommended for both the scalp and the rest of your hair. So they will tell you to take a little bit of product, apply it to the scalp and as well the rest of your hair generally and leave it on for two to three minutes before rinsing this one again also focuses on central asiatica and peptides as well to help alleviate hair loss symptoms and nourish your hair and scalp now, when I use this, I don't feel the need for conditioner. My hair feels so, so soft. However, if I do want to do something additionally, I will actually apply a hair mask at the ends of my hair. One of my favorites is a Japanese one. I will link it down below as well so that you can check it out. It is so, so good. Now, once I finish that shampoo and conditioning step in the shower, I will actually use a microfiber towel. I will just put it on my hair, just allow it to absorb the excess water. I don't do any rubbing or anything like that to create any additional friction on the hair because you have to remember that when your hair is wet it is actually at its weakest so you don't want to be rough and harsh with your hair at all during this point at that point is when i actually bring in the hair loss tonic and this was the first product like i mentioned from the line that i actually started to use because i use this both in my wash routine and then every single day i apply to my scalp a massage into my scalp at least once for the day i usually do it in the morning but you could do it at night it really doesn't matter but as my scalp is clean that is when i actually do the most generous application of this i really spray it in my scalp this is a watery tonic it's not oily anything like that so it's not going to add any weight to your hair and I will really give myself a good scalp massage when I apply this to my hair at that point. I will wait a few minutes after application and then go into the rest of my routine. So then comes the rest of my styling routine when it comes to my hair. And this is where the rest of the nine less products come in. Nine less wow so nine less is this brand of korean products that actually put out professional hair care products that can be used at home i have used almost every single thing from the line by now there are some products that i actually am using as well that is not in this routine because those are newer to me so we'll talk about that some other time i can probably review it for you but these products completely change my game in terms of how i treat and style my hair at home for myself and the results have really been great now today might not be the best example because usually when i'm filming it's on the day before i actually wash so at the moment my hair is a seven day <laughs> and that's what we're working with okay now i also want you to understand that i am not a person that used to blow dry my hair a lot i don't know where i just got the concept that blow drying will damage my hair so i actually used to allow my hair to air dry and and there may not be anything necessarily wrong with doing that, but that kind of allows your hair to stay in its most brittle state for longer. And then actually in conversations with Makeup by Deidre again during the last year, and she started to tell me, you know, about how she takes care of her hair and the things that she's learned over the years because she's excellent when it comes to this like Deidre takes impeccable care of her hair. I started to like rethink the things that I had in my mind when it comes to hair. 
and then realized that blow drying actually wasn't bad for my hair once i use the right products and i protect my hair from the heat it's actually fine and that was a game changer for me so i actually stopped allowing my hair to air dry and now i blow dry my hair this is where we get into the use of these nine less products so i use two things from nine less i use the magic nine rich hair volume balm and i use the magic nine fill up silk hair treatment and both of these can be used separately or they can be used together i use them together and i'm going to tell you how you use them together and just before we go there both of these are leaving treatments and the thing about nine less is that it's called nine less because they are focused on ensuring that they don't have harmful ingredients in their products which i could definitely appreciate but they're also concerned with ensuring that you have the ingredients that are not only going to be beneficial for your hair but will give you those professional results at home let me just read what the rich hair volume balm is all about it is a leave-in hair balm designed for extremely damaged hair the star ingredients include glycerin that helps to lock moisture and keep your hair hydrated what is also interesting is that this also contains copper tripeptides to help your hair produce collagen and make your hair stronger and healthier and they also have certain peptide complexes in here to improve your hair elasticity with an antioxidant effect <laughs> that sounds really good right the balm also helps prevent your hair from heat damage from both hair dryer and straighteners or flat irons and it helps to create volume and that's the main difference between this one and the other treatment is that this one is focused on volume both will help extremely damage here but this one is focused on volume and this one is actually focused on amino acids which we'll talk about in a little bit so what i do is after i've massaged in the anti hair loss scalp tonic and i've left that for a couple of minutes i will take out a little bit of this rub it between my fingers i will focus it more so at the roots of my hair and then i'll take the excess down to the ends that's because i want to have that volume more at the roots of my hair and this product and all the products by nine less smell like the best hair care products you've ever used in your life and that's an actually lasts in my hair for a good few days so I apply that to my roots and then what I do is I take a little bit of this, almost about the same amount that I use in the volume balm, but this one I focus more in the middle to the end of my hair and then I put the excess at my roots. I'm treating my hair from top to bottom, but with different products. Now the fill-in silk treatment is also a leave-in treatment. This one also contains silk aminos to help repair damaged hair and it will also be a protectant against heat or heat damage that you may encounter when doing your styling. One of the things that I should mention is that Ninas actually recommends the volume balm for people who probably have had a lot of damage in their hair, especially from things like coloring and that kind of thing. You might want to take a look at this one. Both products have been tested against irritation and they also contain allergy-free fragrance. The fragrances in them are so so beautiful it's a lovely floral fragrance but again if you are probably sensitive to fragrance and you are thinking oh i need to stay away from that you can actually go on their website where they talk about this but the fragrance ingredients that they include are allergy free so then once I put these two products in, I go into my blow dry, I section my hair in four sections and of course I use a regular blow dryer and I use my round brush which I have talked about ad nauseum. I got this on Amazon, love, love, love this. I use this and I blow dry my hair. It takes me in total about 10 minutes to do the entire blow dry process. Remember, I don't have much hair. So if you have thicker hair, it might take you a little bit longer. The products actually do make drying faster. I have noticed that but the hair feels so silky smooth i do it in sections like i mentioned and i use the brush allow my hair to go around the brush and i put a little bit of tension while i'm moving my blow dryer on and doing that motion actually helps to create the curl and the bounce that lasts now you can actually blow dry your hair doing this method upside down and that's going to give you even more volume but you will see that I actually saw the middle part. I do the sections. I blow dry my hair in sections. And when I'm done, that's when I create another part. But because this part of my hair would have been blow dried this way, when I take it and flip it over, that actually adds to the volume that I get. And then finally, I actually don't flat iron. The last time I used a flat iron to do my entire hair was actually for my brother's wedding and that was the end of july last year since i started doing this method i realized that i don't really need to use a flat iron i probably need it now because my relaxed hair is actually growing out so you can actually see i have some curlies and so on so i guess i could probably use my flat iron if i really wanted to have that part straight until i do my next relaxer but i actually don't need it and with those products i get my hair to stay like that with those curls and that bounce and that lightness for the entire week until my next wash so i really don't feel the need to use a flat iron unless i probably want a very sleek style which i haven't done in ages 
so i completely skipped the flat iron step i just finished off with this product and this is their hair essence their nourishing hair essence this contains five types of hair oils natural oils and ceramides that are actually used to help strengthen and condition your hair improve the elasticity of course help to tame frizz and it does all that without being heavy or greasy and that's the next thing i am very cautious about any finishing products that i use because again i don't want my hair to be weighed down and i don't want it to be heavy one of the things i notice about this however it absorbs so fast and it is super lightweight it is lightweight enough that if i want i can actually use this every day in my hair i don't but i can and i have done it before in case i just want to give my hair and my ends a little bit more nourishment every single day interesting fact nine less actually recommends that you could use this on dry elbows and heels <laughs> So yeah guys, I know this video was kind of long, but I actually wanted to go into a little bit more detail as to what exactly I have been doing. I have been doing this without fail for several months. It has been working for me. I love the results. Maybe I might improve on it over the next couple of months because like I told you, I have a lot of other new products that I'm going to be trying. I will review them for you, but this particular routine... Yeah, I'm happy. I'm satisfied. What is your routine? I'd love to hear down below. Leave a comment if you found this video enjoyable. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.